Hi, hi, welcome to Flora Friday. I'm Jenny Martin, ethnobotanist, Bella Rose. And today I'm putting on my ethnomycological hat. hat. My ethnomycological hat. And because I, I was quite excited, I saw this in the woodlands just earlier when I was out and about and really wanted to have a chat with you about it. So this is our turban fungus or our false morel or gyromitra esculenta is its scientific name. And at this time of year where wild foodists and foragers will be out looking for the morel to go and eat, this is one they need to be very careful of. However, the ethnomycological package of this fungus is just fascinating. It's a really interesting fungus to have a look at. Gyromitra esculenta. Gyromitra is the Greek from gyro, which is rounded, which is probably to do with the roundness of the cap, and then mitra to do with um, a cap or a hat. So gyromitra, a round, rounded cap. Esculenta, which is really where the interesting information starts coming out about this fungus, is that esculenta, as many of my Spanish friends will know, the roots of it, the Latin roots of it, esculenta, are edible. So how come if it's a really toxic fungus has it got a scientific epithet saying edible? If you look in all the mushroom books it'll be in the poisonous, poisonous, poisonous section. And this is where traditional knowledge and how people have used this mushroom and people know how to process the mushroom and how that's been handed down through generations is that if you do process this mushroom in a certain way it does change the chemistry and therefore it becomes more of an edible. So in, in places like Scandinavia, in Eastern Europe and in, 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 in Central Europe it's been used and it's been eaten a lot by mycophilic countries. Mycophilic meaning countries that are happy to eat mushrooms and wild harvest mushrooms so the UK is a microphobic country generally we tend not to we tend to steer away from our culture is not that we all go out foraging mushrooms so there's a latent period if you eat this fungus before you start feeling a bit sick of maybe six to twelve hours and then potentially within two to six days you could be dead for some countries like Germany and Switzerland and Spain have banned the sale of this. Apparently in Finland, it, if it's sold, it has to be sold with a warning that it's poisonous and also a, a legal prescription of how to process it. Apparently false morel, which is, which is really interesting, is they grow a lot in burnt areas and the belief is, is that what they do is they help bring back a, an area that's had um, big forest fires. It helps bring nutrients back to the area by putting out a scent and a smell that attracts invertebrates to just want to eat the cap or to eat the fungus. And then the invertebrates bring back seed and bring back nutrients which help the bioremediation of the area. So this, which is the turban fungus, how is it different to morel? The difference you have between this and a common morel is common morel has more a uniform kind of honeycomb cap and it's a lighter colour, it's not such a dark brown. Also the common morel, the stipe, which is the stem, which grows underneath and goes through actually the part of the cap, is hollow. If you cut it in half it would be hollow, whereas with the turban fungus it's not hollow. Also, if you, yeah, John Wright, who writes for Hugh Funding Wittenstall, talks about the, the um, turban fungus is a bit like a brown tissue that someone's just crunched up. So if you want to look at more about fungi, um, Hugh Funding Wittenstall's book, who is written by John Wright on wild foods, has a fabulous write-up about this fungus. David Aurora is a brilliant mycologist in the States, love his stuff and used his stuff a lot when I was studying ethnomycology and ethnobotany and Paul Stamets, so books like Mycelium Running, brilliant. So false morale and 
please please don't try this at home unless you are absolutely 100 percent you know how to process it do your research but enjoy it don't pick it in mistake for common rail because it isn't and it's very poisonous hey